Welcome, welcome to all of my nice and decent people out there, to all of my viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. Now, today I want to go ahead and talk to everybody about the Skang and the Joshua. I'm, and I said it like that on purpose because, you know, these are the two individuals that is really standing out in the dance hall universe right now. Now, because of that, I will have to say that they will be the new prospects for dance hall. Like basically being on Shensia. Now, for all of you who's going to say that maybe I'm hedging on the youth them, or maybe I'm going to say, yo, this is not going to happen for them, or so on and so forth, because of the fact that they may be doing botany songs and um, because of their image or anything like that. No, that has nothing to do with that. This is, this is the reason why it has nothing to do with that, because, yo, badness song, the fucking gangster tune, the thug tunes, those are the shit that, that damn make hip hop. That's the building blocks of hip hop. Facts is facts. Most of the artists, most of the dancehall artists and reggae artists that came out of, you know, Jamaica, came out of the Caribbean, so on and so forth, came on, was pushed by big labels like VP Records like um island um island epic or island sony or whatever the hell it was called you know i don't know if it still even exists anymore because i mean i see nobody i push them um you see anybody um on those labels like that anymore the last one we see really big right now right now is actually doing their thing is spice but other than that there's not too many other people out there that's, you know, because everybody, I do them thing by themselves. So, for them to create a name for themselves, they have to be able to have those links and networking. And what I see that artists like hip hop artists, because, you know, I'm sorry to say, um, to have to go ahead and compare the dancehall to hip hop, we have to, cause you know, hip hop come out the dancehall anyway. But to compare them is because you know, hip hop is the biggest uh, genre of music that is out there right fucking now. There's no other um, music that's big like hip hop. So you have to be able to create those connections now there's a couple of things where it causes a dance hall to falter that it relied on in the past so now it doesn't rely on it anymore there's no way that it can um continue and be successful as it once did and two of the main things is the labels, big labels backing it, because now we have all the independent labels of people trying to do things on their own independently. Now, we do have breakout artists who can do it, like Alkaline, like Chronic and the Six Camp, and so on and so forth, who's able to go ahead and do it this way, and the First Nation, but they have a limit. They reach a ceiling that I don't know if they're going to be able to get any further now and do they want to that's the thing too so 
the back to the topic. Topic is can the new age artists like Sken and Joshi, you know, Skilly Bang, Shensia, create a name for herself and a path where they can bring a new light on dancehall, an international light, bring new fans into the dancehall universe. And right now, I don't see it. Why? Because it's all about networking. And if you continue to network in just one bumbleclot space, you're not going away. You're not reaching away. You're not getting away. For you, you know, you know, I didn't say, um, they say, steel start shopping steel, right? So for you to get better, you have to be with the best. You have to be with the one with the on top. You have to make the connections, not with just the ones that with, that's in the front. You know, other uh, big name artists. You also have to make the net, um, make the connection with artists behind the scenes. Now we see where the the new big thing right now is Nicki Minaj. Um, went ahead and repost um, a skeng song. And that's like the biggest thing right now where I see inside the news and, you know, um, he, skeng has done some crazy shit. <clears throat> right? As far as the music that he has done, and as far as the the a young artist paving a way for himself independently with him and Josh, you know, he has been able to create a name for himself pretty quickly inside of a short space of time, right? And like I said, the biggest thing right now that I'm hearing in the thing is that he's being backed up like with like with um like with Skilly Bang and Crocodile Teeth. Now Crocodile Teeth was a very it was an old song. You know. And this is what's happening with this is exactly what's happening with um um with Dan Song. Dance all reach to the states, but when it reached to the states on a song, it's years fucking old. Like we who love dance all who know dance all, we are here songs that's been out a year, two, three years before. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's all we hear. We're not hearing anything new. We're not getting any new. We're not getting any new. Again, I'm going to say we're not getting any new people who's liking dancehall. You know? Yeah, Nicki Minaj, I push it. Nicki Minaj, I mean, I expect that shit. Why? Because Nicki Minaj listen to fucking dancehall. Why? Because Nicki Minaj is from the Caribbean. Nicki Minaj is a treaty. You know, if me hear, if me hear um, Cardi B, so Cardi B, you know, last year she went ahead and she had a dance hall party, right? A, a dance hall party where she keep, right? Why? Cause, um, Cardi B is a Caribbean woman, you know. Her mother's from is a Trinidad, Trinidadian, so you know she listened to calypso, she listened to dance hall, she listened to reggae. Coming up, growing up, her father. You're Puerto Rican. So, you know, she have the salsa, she have the merengue, she have all of that in between in her head and she grew up in the Bronx. So, yo, hip-hop daddy, right? Same thing with, with, um, with the Trini Nicki Minaj, right? And then you hear more people like you hear that Alicia Keys did keep a party and a party where she keep have all the for dance artists and reggae artists in there and it was a that, that's what she did have. But everybody don't know this, and people who don't know this, guess what? She is, you know, from Jamaican descent. Her father's a yardie. Right? 
So, what we have to do is we bring them in here, have to bring more people in at the space, in at the dance, our universe. And do I see that Joshi and that skin can bring new name, new eyes? On the dance hall universe, mm, I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna happen. Can they be the next one, next it thing for dance hall? Yes. Well, can they be the next it thing like a Sean Paul and a Shaggy that bring um, dance hall into a universal space and uh, create a more, more, um, more fans? No. I, I don't see it. I don't matter what nobody say. I don't care if you disagree with me or not. It's the fucking truth. It's not going to happen. We have to get some more people where we can slick move between both and give energy to both. Both dancehall, both hip hop, both. Um, actually, even more than that. You know, both the front in front of the camera behind the mic and those people who are the movers and the shakers in the industry not just the downside industry in a music period you know that's why that's why what you call it there that's why spice never get the grammy because spice not have those people behind the scenes to do the things that she need to do. Uh, Spice would have an album a long time ago. Spice would have an album push a long time ago. You see, you see where she go when she kind of network and she get Shaggy and Sean Paul for, for do something with her, right? You have Shaggy and Sean Paul, who's big fucking legends inside the damn inside the arena, inside the universe, right? Right, Anna. They are able to bring Spice into places where she was not able to go before. You think before Shaggy and Sean Paul, you think Spice could have even, even attempt to get a chance for go upon Jimmy Kimmel? Hell no. No, I have to tell the truth, man. No, for all the people who see it or see it, and all of the renegade them, all of the renegade people them, put your hand in the ear, and, you know, I want you to go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you think. Do you think that the new dancehall artists them can go ahead and bring dancehall into the forefront, into the, the space where we can get more fans? Not just more fans, more money, more notoriety, more, just more, you know, because right now the people, them, them not do it. Nobody's not doing it. It's not getting where it should be. And if you're like me, you know where it should be. You feel it. You love it. You, you represent it. You live it. No matter where you do, no matter where you go, you now not make nobody run take it from you because blood. in your run, in your blood. Go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you think. You know, hit hit the post notification and all that good shit. And later on, if they go ahead and make it to the top and. Go ahead and bring new fans into the dancehall universe and they become rich and famous and, you know, become as big as Jay-Z or Drake or, you know, them Monday. You know how the thing go. You know, I want you to go ahead and make sure I get my flaws and make sure I get my props for that. Because guess what happened? Me are the one who inspired them to live up to their potential and become the biggest thing. But that's either to be seen <coughs> excuse me or heard. Anyway until next time I want everybody to live good, be good and goodbye.